thank you for joining me. Um, you join me on an evening when I'm not creating a horror movie. Don't worry. Neither am I creating a Halloween movie. No. Um, in fact, what I'm doing here is I'm, kind of, I'm using um, another instrument other than the faithful violin, of course, to create a new melody. Because I, I enjoy creating new melodies, as you probably realise from the channel. And to do so, sometimes I'll pick up the violin and I'll just start plucking a few notes. And, and some, an idea will occur. But other times I may, may pick up a different instrument. Now I'm not picking this one up because it's a hefty keyboard. But what I am going to do is I've been playing around with this earlier on this evening and come up with a new tune that I rather like the sound of and it's a sort of descending melody so I thought well I, I would share this with you and just show you how I, I kind of get into the mindset of creating new ideas I might go and choose a banjo or I might choose a guitar normally or a flute or whistle whatever but on this occasion it's the keyboard now because it's a keyboard it's connected through to my computer using MIDI of course which is um, called which is musical interface musical instrument digital interface and um, recorded um, well invented by two very clever gentlemen I believe in the States um, one of whom happens to be an incredibly good synthesizer maker anyway I, I digress just continue with this I'm using something called Reaper which sounds a bit Halloweenish again but actually it's a recording system basically now the fancy name is DAW in other words D-A-W Digital Audio Workstation yeah okay I call these things sequences because I came up from the uh, from the early Octatrack days I think it was something like that and trackers and things like that. I used to use a lot of trackers in the old days. And of course tape recorders where everything was done in sequence. You recorded something and then you recorded something else and then you kind of mix the two together. Well now we can do it all on the computer which is fantastic. It's so much easier than splicing bits of tape together and goodness knows what else. So um, I've loaded up Reaper, which is a great um, uh, sequencer, digital audio workstation, and um, I've got a MIDI connection through, and that's sending sound straight through here, and um, I've got a simple instrument hooked up to that, a, um, a virtual instrument, um, which uh, is a cello. And I'm going to play a tune now, and then I'm going to attempt to play it on the violin. So <gasps> let's hope we, we can get this right. So first of all, now, if you hear any mistakes whatsoever, do not worry. They're all intentional, honestly. <laughs> My keyboard playing can be a little bit, shall we say, rough around the edges. So we'll see how we get on. Anyway, this is the tune idea I've got. Now I better put this thing on, otherwise I won't be recording it. So I'll stick the metronome on, which is quite annoying. But it does at least give me a timing. So I'm in 4-4. Four, four. One, one, two, three, four. Do you see? And I'm running at 120 beats a minute, which is the standard start-up speed of most of these sequences. So here we go, let's see how we get on. Thank you. 
So I'll save that now. Now because I've done it with um, a, a clock running, a metronome clock, I can actually now cheat a little bit. Now I'm going to play this back so you can hear it first of all. Look mum, no hands. <laughs> Okay, so that's the uh, that's the basic track. Now what I can do is I can just um, minimise the screen slightly, and I can cheat here. Now I can just drag another one straight on the top of the other one. So we'll just see if they blend nicely together. I may not have quite got that right. We'll see. Yeah. I've got is I've got two loops running which is quite handy really and I'm not having to do anything um, so what I'll just move those fractionally out um, so I'll play the end of the first tune and you can hear how it runs into the second loop <laughs> now I've got this I've got the melody saved that's the important thing that's what I'm trying to achieve I'm not trying to create a, a fantastic MIDI track or anything like that because I, I I enjoy playing the real instrument you see but having said that I've now saved a tune idea and I could go on now I could put some violas in there I could put um, some some bass perhaps in there um, Goodness knows, I could put all sorts of instruments, flutes maybe. Um, now, a lot of these instruments you can find freely on the internet. Um, it's surprising really, some very nice ones as well. But what I shall do now, I shall turn this volume down fractionally and I'm going to have a go at trying to play this tune. So, wish me luck. Um, let's choose a suitable bow. Um, yeah, I think we'll go for the very old bow. I like this bow. Yeah, okay, so let's give it a whirl. I'm getting at here I hope anyway as an aid for a composer the, the, a sequencer like this is invaluable a simple keyboard maybe a sequencer and away you go you know you can create your own melodies and then you can transfer them onto the violin that appeared to be in the key of F yeah in the key of F so um, it kind of worked out quite nicely really so that's this is one of the ways that I come up with new ideas for melodies I just tinker around on the keyboard for a bit and maybe use an instrument like that um, and then of course use that to develop 
my ideas and um, ultimately record the violin because this this is the main instrument in my opinion. Um, the guitar is obviously very good as well and the banjo and the bazooki but this 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 instrument here is is the one in my opinion. Um, okay, so um, now if this is in, of any interest at all, please let me know because I have been tinkering around um, with synthesizers, computers, recording for a number of years now. Um, probably best part of 20 years, if not longer. And um, have, you know, found a few tricks of the trade, shall we say. In particular, with my electric violin, I found I can play the electric violin now and I can also play um, another instrument along with it using MIDI. So there are very clever tricks of the trade that you can you can try. And I'm quite happy to make videos about that and explain how to do that. But you must let me know, because obviously it's pointless making videos if no one's going to be interested. But there we go. I thought I would just share this this evening with you, because I had a lamp on and it looked a bit scary. And I thought, well, we're getting near Halloween. And um, I thought you might find this interesting. OK. Oh, don't forget, I've brought a new EP out and I've done it all here, worked in the studio by myself and played all the instruments on there. In fact, all of the recordings that you hear is yours truly playing on the different instruments, um, chiefly because it's not a very big room and I can't get anybody else in here. So, uh, yeah, that's the main reason. But if you are interested, take a listen to my new EP and uh, see what you think. OK, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon and enjoy your fiddle playing. Here we go. Let's take it out, boys. It, that, that's my, my other musician pal. Okay boys, that's enough for the time being. Thank you. Bye bye.